Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. It's Jason here from Old Car Guy. And today we are freezing our you know what's off out here in the garage because, well, we're working on the old square body again. So stay tuned. So more specifically what we're doing today is we are replacing the door when window weather stripping um, dealies here. And uh, so we've got to get the old ones off and replace them with the new ones. It's a pretty simple job, but if you've never done it, it can be quite tricky. So uh, we're gonna take it step by step, show you how it's done. Let's go. But before we get started, notice that uh, hopefully the sound quality will be getting better for you guys. I am wearing a wireless uh, lapel mic and that way when I turn my head away from you when I'm talking, uh, hopefully you can kind of pick things up a little bit better and uh, the sound quality issue that we've been having with the mic cutting out once in a while is finally fixed. First thing we gotta do is we've gotta get this door panel off. Now there's four screws across, blah, 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 blah. now there's four screws across the bottom, they're all Phillips head. There's two in the door pull itself and then there's one in behind the actual door opener. Now. One of the things that we've got to do is we've got to get this window crank off and there is a special tool for it. I've already loosened this one up, but if you'll notice, there's a little C-clip and what you've got to be able to do is you've got to have a tool that will push on both sides of this C-clip, spreading it open and unlocking those two little nubs in the middle. So what I've got is one of these little plastic puller tools uh, that I got in a, a tool heads crate once upon a time and all you've got to do is kind of get in behind it and push those open and spread those things apart and then you can wiggle that right off the knob so basically what i'm talking about if the window crank is there then you've got to be able to get that tool kind of down in behind it to spread those two little clips or that one little clip apart and then you can just kind of give it a wiggle that pops off so all i've got left is one screw here we'll take that off and we'll unscrew the door lock and that door panel should pop right off That should just pop off there like that. Up out of there. And then we've got to weasel it out around this uh, door handle. Just like so. So this is the first time I've had this door panel apart since I've owned the truck, so I don't really know what to expect when I get in here. Uh, but what I do know is that uh, the bottom of the door is quite rusty down here in the corner, the bottom edge. And then right down here, you can see where it's all dark. Uh, while I'm here, I'm gonna spray some undercoating kind of inside that door. Hopefully it'll slow that down. I'm gonna grab my phone and we'll stick it down in there. And I can see like an old rag or something down in there, some pine needles, no thousand dollar bills, unfortunately. So as you can see, we've got the old door felt on the door panel. The inner door panel felt is kind of attached to the door panel and it's just held on with these little clips which just slide in uh, over that little hole. We'll get this one off. The other one is attached to the door and it's the same idea. It's held in there with those little clips and we'll get our little pry tool and we'll be able to pry that one off and then we've got uh, the other pieces over here that we haven't unbagged yet. So one thing you'll want to note is that there is an inside and outside. The one with the small clips here, this is the outside one. This is the one that attaches to the door. And then the inside one has the bigger clips. As you can see, they're very similar to those, which are going to clip on to the door panel itself. Learn something new. I don't know what we're gonna do, because that doesn't work. Oh, oh, we got her. Oh yeah. I'm cooking with gas now. Oh, oh. No, we're good. One thing you gotta be careful of is because it's all plastic, and that door panel is over 40 years old, you wanna make sure that you're not breaking anything. 
and that slid in there just as slick as snot. So I don't know if you can see that on the camera or not, but those clips just kind of went in there and they fell into place like nothing, just like butter. Now we may end up having to slide that back just a hair, but I think it's lined up. So that's how easy that one is. Let's go over to the door and see if we can't get that one on. Now this one here is going to pop out the same way. We got to get in behind it. And we're, all we're doing is bending those tabs so that they slide out a little bit easier. Bend it over, just like that. And then, with a little bit of persuasion, it should just pop right up there. And it's okay if you want to just kind of pry on that glass, it'll be fine. And we've got nothing that we're saving here, except for the door and the glass. And just to give you a comparison again, to the old and the new, the clips are very similar. And uh, this one here is just going to wedge itself down into those holes that are already kind of molded out of the door. So that's all there is to that really. Uh, this one's in place and the purpose of these is to keep the water from going down inside your door so it doesn't rot your door out just like this door already is. When we get the door panel back on and get that window cranked up a bit, what it's going to do is it's going to create a seal along the inside and outside and hold that window from rattling as well. One of the things I find when I'm driving around, if I've got the window down, uh, before I replace these, the, that window was just in there rattling around like crazy and it would drive you nuts. Kind of like the brake pedal did before uh, I went and put those bushings in that pedal. I hate squeaks and I hate noises and some people will say, well, why are you driving old, older vehicles? It's, well, it's because I like older vehicles. I can put up with a few squeaks and rattles, but sometimes there's just that one that really gets you, you know, kind of like the mother-in-law. Anyway. So we've got the outer piece installed on the door. We've got the inner piece installed on the door panel. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna clean up the inside of this panel. I'm gonna clean up the junk that's down at the bottom of the door and wipe down the dust here as well. And we'll reverse the process of putting everything back together and then we're gonna tackle the other side. Anyways, let me get this cleaned up. I'll be right back with you. All right, we got our door panel back on after we cleaned everything and as you can see, We've got those window seals are in there. Everything fits nice. When the window rolls up, there's actually a little bit of tension on it now. So you know that those uh, seals are doing exactly what they're supposed to do. We come around to the outside here and you'll see that it's nice seal along the side of the door and it's right flush up against the window as well. And we know that we're gonna have a good seal and keep as much water out as possible. So we're just gonna go over to the other side and get it done. We'll do it to a time lapse and then we are going to close out this video. But before we do that, uh, if you guys don't know who Mortsky Repair is, I'm going to leave a link right up here. You guys can go check him out. He does a lot of uh, revival videos on really old stuff. Uh, and when I say really old stuff, I think he just did a 28 Model T, got it running and driving. And really good stuff, him and his dog Duff. Uh, really good sense of humor. Uh, you can tell that they're uh, from probably somewhere in the Dakotas or Minnesota just by the way he talks. Got that real you know, way out in Fargo, eh? Almost Canadian, kind of right on the border maybe of Canada. I don't know where you are, uh, Tom, but I'm thinking you're probably up there somewhere. Nevertheless, go over and check out Mortsky Repair. I'm hoping that maybe we can get him on the Car Guy and Six Fan Show in season five. If you guys don't know what the Car Guy and Six Fan Show, again, I'm gonna leave a link right here. Myself and Grant Tommy, who is straight Six Fan, we co-host the Car Guy and Six Fan Show is just an automotive talk show where we have guests, uh, we have fun and games, uh, we give away prizes, and uh, in season five, it's shaping up to be uh, quite a season, so you're not gonna wanna miss it. It's Thursday evening, same time, at seven o'clock central, eight eastern, uh, every Thursday evening for 18 weeks, starting in January, and I think it's the 11th, maybe? I don't know, I'll, I'll, put, that, I'll put the date right up here so you guys will know. Anyways, uh, it's going to be a fun season. We've got lots of prizes to give away during the season, and we've got lots of guests lined up as well. So I hope you can join Grant and I 
for the Car Guy and Six Fan Show, we alternate each week. Going to be premiering on Grant's channel this season. Anyways, let's get back over to that other door, get that done. We can button up this little project. guys we've got the passenger side one all in and it looks like new so if you're interested in getting a pair of uh, not a pair a set so if you're interested in getting a set of these I'm gonna leave the link in the description box down below for those I bought them off of Rock Auto and uh, they were the cheapest place I could find and I know that sometimes when you're buying something that's uh, aftermarket you don't always expect them to fit perfectly well I'm pretty happy with these in fact they fit very well, all the clips lined up, and there was really nothing to it. You saw how easy it was to go together, both sides were the same, so there wasn't a whole lot of uh, you know, fiddling or fussing to try and make things work like they would have uh, from the factory. So I'm pretty happy with those. If you want your very own, like I said, I'll leave the link in the description box below. So that's gonna do it for this video, guys. I hope you really enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and hit that subscribe button. If you haven't done so already and you're new here, thank you for being a part of the old Car Guy channel. We've got lots of vehicles that we're working on here. We've got Dale the truck. I've got my Chrysler Cordoba sitting over here as well as Blackjack, the 03 Grand Marquis that we lifted and put the big 31 inch tires on as well as Grandma, who is my 04 Grand Marquis that my wife daily drives. So guys, we're always working on something. There's always new things coming and we've got big plans coming for Project Blackjack. Also, don't forget, my Spreadshirt store has a ton of new shirts available. Uh, I'm gonna flash a few of them up here on the screen so you can go take a look at them. There might be something there that interests you or somebody you know who may be interested in me or what I do. So go on over there, take a look, see if there's something that you like and help support this channel in other ways rather than just watching these videos, which I appreciate. Guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. Love you, God bless, let's do it again. Until soon.